Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. This morning, I read a post on Facebook, and uh, I'm going to butcher it terribly because I don't have it in front of me to read. But I want to share it with you because it triggered something in me. And then in my readings this morning, um, it got driven home multiple times. Something that I deal with on a regular basis, I'm, maybe I'm the only one, I doubt it, but it's possible. But if it, I'm the only one, then you get to know a little bit more about me, but if I'm not, then there's a good chance you might learn something from this. So as I'm reading this long story, there's a lioness and a donkey, and they're having a conversation. And eventually they get around to what color is the grass. And the donkey keeps saying the grass is blue. And the lioness keeps saying, no, the grass is green. And the donkey is adamant. The grass is blue and you're wrong. And they argue about it all day long. And then eventually the lioness is really frustrated. We need to get this settled. I can't live like this anymore. Let's go see the king. The lion. He will settle this for us once and for all. So they approach the king on his throne. And they get accepted into the court. And the king says, what can I do for you? And the donkey says, I need you to settle this. Your, your Highness, you know that the grass is blue. And the lion looked at the donkey and said, If that's what you believe. And then the donkey said, But the lioness over here, she keeps telling me the grass is green. And you need to do something about it because she keeps arguing with me and she's wrong. And the king looked at the donkey, and said, Okay, I sentence the lioness to three days of silence. The donkey gets excited, jumping up and down, shouting for joy that he was right, and he leaves and thanks the, the king and then leaves, and the lioness is standing there. And she says, Your Honor, I don't understand. Do you know the grass is green? Why am I being punished? And the lion looked at her and said, Because you should know better than to argue with an ass. It wasn't important whether the grass was green or blue. You knew what was right, and you could have walked away. And you wasted my time by coming here and bringing this to me, instead of just walking away yourself. I'll be honest, I was reading that. I thought the lion was going to say, I did it so you'd have peace and quiet from the donkey. And I realized, nope, it really was true. That lioness had the power in that situation and chose to stay in the fight instead of walking away and letting an ass be wrong. Because all the ass cared about was the fact that he needed to be right. And it didn't matter whether right was right or not. He just needed to be told he was right. He wasn't going to have his mind changed by an argument. So many times in our lives we have to anticipate that truth in our own life. We're doing the Proverbs Challenge this month. And hopefully you've read Proverbs 8. In Proverbs 8, 12, and 13 it says... I, wisdom, share a home with shrewdness, which is good judgment. And I have knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. And then he defines it. I hate arrogant pride, evil conduct, and perverse speech. That perverse speech is argumentative speech. To fear the Lord, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. 
the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Arrogant pride. Evil conduct. And arguments. That lioness wanted to say, what am I supposed to let him walk all over me? When the reality was, she let him walk all over her. All over her. Because she got into the argument in the first place. And he wasn't going to lose. So she had to allow the mess to continue. Instead of saying, okay, and walking away. Having the argument over, that ass couldn't walk all over her anymore. It's a good lesson to learn. It's funny because I had to deal with it just a little bit this morning in my own home. How about you? It's a good lesson to learn, isn't it? I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. God bless.